Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use a C alloc and free functions in C to allocate and deallocate the memory dynamically. So, first we're gonna see the syntax of these two functions, and then you know we're gonna see how we can use them in our programs and what these functions actually does. So, if you want to use these two functions, then you need to include stdlib which stands for standard library header file to your program okay now we're gonna see about the c alloc function the c alloc function in c is used to allocate the memory dynamically and if you don't know about this uh, dynamic memory allocation please watch my video tutorial on it the c alloc function is gonna allocate the enough number of blocks of uh, specified size from the heap you know with c alloc the memories will be initialized to a value of 0 and it returns the address of the first byte of the first block so if, so you know if my statements are confusing don't worry just stick with me okay first we're gonna see the syntax so the c alloc function is gonna take two parameters first is the number of items you want to store which is an integer value and then the size of the each item for example if you want to store the mark of six subjects then the number of items is six because you know you want to store the marks of six subjects and the size of each item will be the size required to store the integer value because you know mark is an integer value so this c alloc function is gonna return the address of the first byte of the first block allocated you know if the request was successfully allocated from the heap and if it fails to allocate then it's gonna return a null value so this free function is used to you know deallocate the allocated memory used as a parameter we need to pass the um, memory address returned by this c alloc function when the c alloc function successfully allocates the memory in the heap it's gonna initialize all that memory into a value of zero so unlike to the malloc function where you know the memory wasn't initialized you know with c alloc the memories will be initialized to a value of zero so now we're gonna see you know how we can use this c alloc and free functions in our program so in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna you know ask the user to enter the number of subjects and uh, depending on the input from the user we can allocate the memory to store the marks of that um, you know specified subjects and then we gonna we're gonna retrieve the values so first uh, we're gonna create a pointer it's gonna be int star let me say as marks then uh, we need two variables one is called um, length which will be specified by the user and a counter value the next thing that we're gonna do is you know we're gonna ask the user to enter the number of subjects enter the number of subjects next uh, we're gonna receive that value using the scanner function and I'm gonna use percentage D here and it's gonna be ampersand length so now the length variable is gonna contain the number of subjects the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna allocate the memory so it's gonna be marks equal to c alloc and then uh, the number of items which is length entered by the user and next the size of each item so each item is of type integer in our in this case that's why it's gonna be the size of int for example let's say the user enters a value of 5 then uh, this um, c alloc function is going to allocate 5 into size of int which is 4 in my system 5 into 4 equal to 20 bytes in the memory and you know this memory will be divided into blocks small small blocks and each block is of 4 bytes long so it's going to be 5 blocks and each block is of size 4 you know which is the size of uh, integer in my system next uh, we need to you know cast this one to int so it's gonna be int star okay next
next we're gonna check whether you know the memory was successfully allocated so that's why I'm gonna use the if statement if marks equal to null then uh, we're gonna say you know unable to allocate the memory I'm gonna use the put as function unable to allocate memory else you know if the request was um, successfully proceeded or you know the memory was allocated then we're gonna store the values in that uh, allocated memory so that's why I'm gonna use a for loop for counter equal to zero counter is less than the length then uh, counter plus plus And now I'm gonna ask the user to enter the marks of each subject. That's why I'm gonna use a printf function here and I'm gonna ask enter the mark of mm, let's say percentage D subject. And um, here we're gonna refer our counter variable and let me add one to that counter because you know we can't ask enter the mark of zero subject we can ask enter the mark of first subject second subject third subject etc etc okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna store the entered mark in our you know in the memory allocated by this c alloc function so I'm gonna use the scanf function and uh, we're gonna receiving a integer value that's why it's gonna be percentage d and then it's going to be ampersand and and here we can access this memory allocated by the calloc function similarly we are accessing a um, array so here I'm going to write ampersand marks which is a pointer name and within the square bracket I need to specify the position so here it's going to be counter And the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna copy this one, this for loop, and paste it again. And I'm gonna make this one to print the values. So it's gonna be printf. And I'm gonna say percentage d. And uh, let's add a new line. And here we're gonna refer this one as it is. So it's gonna be marks and uh, you know the counter so make a note that you know we are not using this ampersand here for the printf okay now uh, I'm gonna save this the next thing that we need to do is we need to free the allocated memory so that's why I'm gonna use a free function and uh, as a parameter we need to pass the marks okay let me um, compile and run okay now it asks enter the number of subjects so let's say 6 and hit enter enter the mark of first subjects let me enter 35 uh, enter the mark of second subject 45 55 65 75 85 and you can see here you know all these marks are successfully stored in that allocated memory and you know all that uh, values are uh, you know printed out so so now, uh, now let me see whether I can draw this let's assume that this is the stack allocated by the operating system for the programs to store their uh, local data and this is a heap so when we use this calloc function the memory will be allocated from the heap so in the example you know we enter the number of subjects as 6 that's why the C alloc function is going to allocate six blocks, and each block is of four bytes. You know that's the size of integer in my system. It's going to allocate six blocks in the heap, and each block is of four bytes. So each block is of four bytes. So it's going to be six blocks. And that's why it's gonna be 
six into four which is you know each block is of four bytes so equal to 24 bytes so the c alloc function is going to allocate six blocks each of four bytes and it's going to initialize all these bytes into zero so you know all these bytes are initialized to zero so that you know every block will contain a value of zero and then it's going to return the address of the first byte of the first block and uh, it's going to store that address in our pointer marks so it's going to create a pointer and this marks is going to point to the first byte of the first block so when we assign the values to these locations as we were done here you know by asking the user to enter the values the values will be stored here so the 35 will be stored here 45 will be here and uh, similarly you know 55 65 75 and uh, 85 will be stored at the end so when we free this memory you know all these memory locations and then you know we just uh, retrieve the values using uh, the for loop here and once we free this memory using the free function all these memories all these blocks will be freed and uh, you know they are available for some other programs to use so this is it guys this is about the c alloc function and how it works so thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning and i'll see you in the next tutorial